Welcome back, everybody, to another Slime Rancher 2 video. Haha! -ha! I am absolutely loving this game. I love going into it. Um, I, I've actually been playing a lot more in my free time. That way I can try to get some money, get some resources. That way we can prepare for some upgrades, some little adventures. I know there's still three parts of our main base that we can expand off of. I think it's around like 12 to 1800 gold to buy one of those areas, per se. Um, so obviously there's trying to get enough money for that. Um, but in my free time, I did, uh, expand the farm a little bit, not a lot, just kind of some upgrades for some pens. I went to gather some plorts so that way we could start off with a good amount of money. And I also got a bunch of pogo fruit because I, what I want to do to start is I want to go back to that island we were at and I want to pop that bat slime. We were so close. I know we were, but I just did not have the time to actually do it. So I think what we're gonna do to start off is we're gonna take these 20 pogo fruits and we are going all the way to this bat dude right here and we are going to pop him if it is the last thing I do. Uh, I also have noticed that sometimes, not in this exact area, a little farther ahead, there'll be a lucky slime, I think is the name. Um, he'll pop up, he eats only meat, and I never seem to have any chickens on me at the time. But what'll happen is you can feed him. I don't know if it's just one or if it's more. I know that that was a thing back in Slime Rancher 1. But you could get that plort from him and it sells for like four or 500 gold, somewhere around that. As I'm scoffing at that amazing amount of money. Um, ooh, actually, you know what? I kind of want these tabby plorts because they are going to be used for some of the upgrades later on. I'm also going to take these carrots. Fuck this pink floor. Uh, my own. I'm close. I'm close. Here we go. All right, so we're going to jump through this portal and we're going to make our way to that bat friend no, so that way we can pop him and see what goes on from there. Besides uh, looking at some stuff that I did in the off time <laughs> for this game since the last time I played, I also was looking... Oh! There he is right there. See? Lucky me. Are there any chickens anywhere? That's exactly what I was talking about. Of course. Of course. I was just talking about him. And then he's gone. Of course. Ah, I, I just got to start carrying chickens on me at all times or something like that, because that is just too an odd onion. Interesting. New vegetable. I'm just going to kind of collect these tabby ports, but where was I going? Oh, I looked up what the approximate end game area looks like so far, as this game is still in early release, as if you haven't heard me say that a thousand times. But there isn't really an end yet. There is a good amount of content, and there is a good amount of gameplay that we're going to be able to get through um, before we kind of have to stop, as there really is not much left for us to do. Um, also, fuck you! Ha-ha! <laughs> hate the Tars. Bad boys. But we're going to get to this bad boy. But yeah, so there really isn't too much that you can do yet. I mean, there is a ton. I say not too much as if there's not a ton of stuff still left to do. Uh, but there isn't much that we can do in the sense of end game value. That's what I'm trying to say is if that's even what I want to say. But so we'll just get as far as we can. Yeah, see? This fat boy right here. Yeah! Get my fruit back. Alright, let's see. What do we got here? Okay, okay. Lava pools. Ooh! Ooh, we got some Q-berries, some bat boys. Ooh, okay, okay. So what do you guys eat? You guys eat fruit. And then I want your baddie plorts. Because another main goal of us doing this is to try to make some money so we can actually afford stuff. I know, right? Crazy. I want to afford things. I'm a wild no. lad. This is interesting. All right. So there's more that slimes here what are you the fire slimes diet ash okay so i'm assuming i'm gonna have to suck up Ooh, money 
uh, suck up lava at some point with a bat, bat, a vac upgrade. So that way we can actually do that. Cause I know you can also get puddle plorts. That bat is probably going to die. But that is the biggest definition of not my prob I've ever seen. Oh, is that a baddie plort? Oh, it's a baddie plort. So from here, it looks like there is the ability to hardcore parkour. No, no. Oh, oh, he's pissed. Oh, he's pissed. Oh, the parkour went so wrong. The parkour went so violently wrong. Oh, no, no, no. Oh. no. Skull and crossbones for fucking real. Oh, you see happy faces, happy faces. You're all beautiful. I cherish every one of you. Oh, so many ports. Oh, we're gonna go back for the full case of these tabby ports. Um. In your face. In your gullet. Eat it up. Nom nom. Where the fuck? Okay, or don't eat it. See what I care. I don't need you anywhere. Who's munching? I heard munch. Yeah. Oh! Well, there goes some. Ah! Tabby port. All right, that's good for now. I can also start another farm for these odd onions because I know eventually something is going to be the odd onions favorite or their favorite is the odd onion. That I did not mean to phrase like a doof, but I phrased it like a doof. And you all love me for it. That's okay. 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 <laughs> I knew I could do it. So, objective one was completed. We blew up the baddie Gordo, which was beautiful. Now we can go back, make some Mooney. Am I turning complete around? Okay, cool. I could not figure out where to go. Uh, we'll go back, deposit, make some Mooney, expand our farm a little bit, get some upgrades, and then I think it'd be a good time to go to that other island we really haven't explored too much. Because I feel like we've explored this a good amount, at least to what I think we can do for this point in time. However, I do want to explore that second one and then potentially try to save up some money, at least unlock another one of those island attachment thingies that are uh, uh, right on our farm. These, we got this one, which looks like it opens to a second. I don't know if you get it with that purchase or not. There's the blue one, and then there's the purple one. And actually, this is saying that I've, I think I've only got two out of 14 areas. Which, that's... Or two out of four of those map things, which I guess means kind of the same thing. But we will continue with business as per usual. So we're gonna run back across. Ooh. That has actually come in super handy when it comes to wanting to, to deposit some plorts that I'm gonna need later on for whatever use. A lot of it is for upgrades. I didn't realize how important a lot of that was gonna be for upgrades, which stinks because I would have been putting a lot more plorts into there instead of just selling because selling is great because I obviously need the money this early on, but the upgrades as well are extremely necessary to a lot of our causes. So we will get back. We'll deposit the bat ones for money as I'm over here being like, I probably should deposit more for science purposes, but nah, nah. We'll go back. We need the money. Only have 1282. I'm poor. For these carrots, I'm gonna deposit them in their auto feeder so I can also pick up their bun bun ports. All right, all right, move. Move. I want poop. I want poop. So baddie plorts are 34. Cotton are 10. And tabby are 27. That's right. Now we're raking it in. Also, I didn't realize this, but our ringtail turns to stone during the day. But look at that adorable face he's got. I love him. I love him. I love him. So here, I want to make another garden that I can put the onion into. I'll suck up these. I can use. 
Hmm. Oh, nope, nope. These motherfuckers hurt if they get you when they blow up. They like chain reaction off one another and it just hurts. I had to put an air net because they kept getting out. Living. Oh, there he goes. Aha! Fucking knew it. Monsters. Because all he is is a monster. There we go. Okay, we made some of that money back. I think next thing I will do is put a floor collector, an auto feeder on theirs. And then, well, I'll give you the extra pogo fruit. But I'll put a bunch of pogos. Not po uh, odd onion, whatever you wanted to call it. Mm, get around there. Oh. All right. So next thing I want to do is I want to see, now that we have a good amount of money, go down to here and check out what upgrades we can get. Because I do have a good amount of money. The upgrades are expensive. But see what we can get. So with the cotton plorts and the money, we can get a resource harvester upgrade. So adds a resonator to the vac suction mechanism. Big words. That shakes loose science resources from nodes in the environment. Interesting. Uh, heart module. So it syncs with your body's own vital processes to enhance life system, boosting health to 150, plus it's sparkly. It's sparkly. Our power core, augment your vac pack. Wow, why did I read it like that? With an almost certainly safe microfusion generator that boosts energy to 150. Dash boots, these highly advanced and frankly fashion forward boots reduce the energy consumption of sprinting. Ooh, phosphor plorts and radiant ore. I think that's what we would need this for to get try to get radiant ore. But we could get a jetpack. We could get a tank booster. Improved nano storage cell technology allows your vac tank to hold 30 units of whatever you can vac up. And I think that's all we can get for now. So the first one I'm definitely getting is the tank booster. That's just a no brainer. Uh, let's see. What else could be good? I think the resource harvester is going to be good. And then we'll get the dash boots. All right. So we're poor again, but we can hold more things, we can suck more things, and we can run four more things longer. Suck, run, dash. The good old suck, run, and dash. I, I don't, I, I feel like I was trying to set myself up for a joke there and it did not go the way I wanted it, but that's fine. That's fine. I'm a special boy. I'm a lovely little bean. Alright, we got our carrots and pogo fruit. Take those with me in case I want to harvest some florts. So, what we're going to do next after we did that was... We'll take these with us in case we want to gather some plorts and make more money. But I know there was an area around here somewhere with those little rock formations, and I want to see if I can now harvest the resources from it. It was nearby. That much I remember. Be gone! Hmm. Was it down here? It was in this area somewhere. I just guess I don't remember quite where. Am I, am I going crazy? I know the fossil reports are going directly in here. Well, I'm going to keep my promise, and we are going to go to that second island in this episode. But I was hoping to find that rock deposit. Oh, oh well. All right. So, oh, wait, there it is. Can I get it? I can. Okay, cool. What do I get? Jellystone. It's both solid and squishy at the same time. Interesting. So actually, I'm definitely going to deposit that because that's got to be used for some sciencey whoozy what's it's. All right, cool. Okay, so now I can do that, which is going to be a great help because I think that's also. Am I not? Sorry, keep spamming buttons. Um, that'll help me get more of what I am eventually going to need. Oh, check in case a lucky slime comes out of nowhere. Uh, what was it? It was the jelly stone, not the jelly stone. It was the something, something thing. Oh, the thingamabobber. God, that we need to eventually upgrade some of the stuff we have. So in we go. All right. So hopefully we can find the map part of this as well, because I would like to see 
this and what it exactly entails. I know we saw it very, very quickly the first time we were here, I believe. And I want to kind of see more of what this island has to offer. I know we had, uh, there's some phosphor slimes here that are surprisingly not dead. Because usually they go kaplooey in the, the daytime. Oh my god. So many. I like this island. This is very peaceful and tranquil with no giant lava boom people who want to end my very existence. Rocko smash. Aren't you adorable? You're mine. These slimes are totally metal. I heard boop. Let's see. Rock port, rock port. Actually, what do you eat, Mr. Rock? You eat veggie? You eat veggie. Give me plorts. Move, 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 plorts. All right. So now we got some combros going on over here, which I definitely need to start doing that as well with the stuff I have back on the farm. Well, the little farm, because that way I can start getting multiple plorts every time I feed them and will actually be making money without suffering. However, I forgot how much these motherfuckers can hurt because they like to No! No, where is it? You ate my plort! I hate you! Alright, so I have another locked door, which I don't know how to get in. This area over here. What do we have on this side? We have a tree with a nest. So I'm assuming you bear some sort of fruits. And then that's like a chicken spawn. All right, you're a big boy. Take that. Ow. You're all rude. Give me some rock slimes, rock rock ports, some, some poop, some pull up. No, okay. Hmm. Oh, okay. So it's over there. So, yep. Even though you're all mad, you guys are mad. I can see that. I can. See, you know what? You have the right. However, I want your map icon. There it is. Now, how does one get up there? Oh, that's that stuff. Honey slimes. And was that there was more of that. Okay, yeah, radiant ore. That's what it was called. It was radiant ore. All right. What do you guys eat? Honey slimes eat fruit. All right. Well, I'm going to bless all of you with pogo fruit. Pogo fruit for days. They're gonna call me the, the Pogo Fruit Man because I'd be making it rain with those Pogo Fruits. And then I run around the world picking up poop with my bare hands. So that way I can afford to feed my family. It's a weird existence, but it's my existence. And I will not be shamed. I was gonna make us some moolah babies. We just need these bun buns to stop beating our ports. So I wanted to... Okay, now that I have it, I can actually test this theory. If I shoot a rock port into a rock statue, does that work? <gasps> it worked! I... So we know that... I think there's a tabby one back somewhere on the main island. So we have our little pod here. What are we gonna find? Storage cell used at the fabricator to upgrade the Vax Tank Booster. Okay, cool. So I think that I can upgrade it again, obviously, once I have the items. And then there's this door, but it doesn't have a statue anywhere. So I wonder if this type of thing, if you see a door and there's no statue to shoot a port into, I think you just kind of blocked until they further the game development. Either way, that's pretty cool. I like that. All right, I want all of these. All of it, all of it. Not you personally, but all of them. Uh, carrots. 
And I also want that. But how do I get that? Hmm. So it's up there. I can run. Ooh. Talk about a deposit. Let's see. So we can jump here. And then... Let's see... Oh, is that a honey gordo? Okay, there's gotta be a way up on these areas then. Hold up. No statue. That's fine. That's fine. Girl queen. Okay, so we make our way around here. All these adorable little guys. Another door that I can't open. Another this sign that beckons me to stay away. Oh, I see why. But rock go smash. Oh. I don't even know where I'm going. I don't even know where I'm going. Where, where the hell am I? I am balls deep in this island. And I don't know where to go. Maybe just go up. Fuck it. We, we go up. When in doubt, go up. Socrates said that once. Maybe. Mm -hmm. He's oh! Is that a baddie slime? That might be a baddie slime. Okay, so if this... We have it. We need a baddie port. Bring it here. And then we can figure out where that goes. Oh, buzzwax. Interesting. I'm feeling like that's going to be a very useful crafting material that I'm going to need later. Can be used to make great scented candle if you enjoy the smell of bees. Abdominal glands. Abdominal. Ab abdominal. I can't speak. I had a stroke and none of you did anything. <sighs> what am I going to do with you guys? All right. So that was a really good adventure. We got a lot of new materials. We found a lot of areas. I still didn't get the map icon like I wanted. But that's fine. Now we can go back and make an absolute buttload of money. Which I might as well, I guess, just pick up all of these ports on our way back. Ooh, wait a minute. Cabbage. This is the bunny's favorite. Alright. Run, run, get around, I get around. And that's all I'm singing before I get copyrighted. I know it sometimes goes over here. But it's not. Oh. So now we can make our way back to our humble abode. And kind of just, you know, take it easy. We just had a really good adventure there. We got to see a lot more of that island. I now know that I need a baddie slime eventually, or at least a port to open up that door. We can use ports to open doors, which was brand new. And then just kind of take it one step at a time. Actually, I just want to double check. I don't want to check the Slimepedia because I'm my own man. So if I give you that, you should give me... That's one, that's two. Okay, yeah, two. So it'll give two. Be gone. So if you give them their favorite, it gives you two, which I do remember that from the beginning. Or the, not the beginning, the first one. Now that I've gotten rid of Cool Brain. So this is seven, less than it was before. <laughs> this is 10, which is nice. And then honey is 44. Oh, we raking it in. We raking it in. How much is it to open one of these areas? <gasps> oh, oh, okay. So I can just open it. Arcway, an expansion to the conservatory set amongst ancient ruins and fields of rainbow grass. Oh. We have got to open that. Why are there carrots here? Didn't I plant the onion? I did. Interesting. Weird. But we have got to collect enough plorts to open that. We have got to open one of those areas before we end this episode. We've got to do it. For me, for you guys, it just has to happen. And it looks like our buddies over here have crapped out a lot for us. And because you all... Oh, am I going to make the money back? Yeah, let's hope so. 
I don't I don't want to risk my life from these guys absolutely blowing up on me. So we need 1,800. How much food do these poor boys have? Probably not any. Oh, hen hens. Aw, I sucked up a chickadoo. How cute. Bye, buddy. Hope you find your dad. Splash. <laughs> I'm an idiot. But I'm your idiot. All right, let's run over here. Looks like these guys are hungry. So we need to get their plorts. You guys are also hungry. So I can feed you guys something. I think what I want to do off camera as well is see what combination of slimes is the best. I know with pink, you can basically make, let's say, the tabbies that only eat meat or the booms that only eat meat. You can make them eat fruits and veggies, I think, if it still works that exact way. Because then they have a mixed diet. Oof, we do not have enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump cut to when I have that sweet, sweet 1800. So you guys don't have to see me running around and feeding poor boys like this that are foaming at the mouth. So we have 1800. So I'll be right back. All right. Finally, after a embarrassingly long time gathering a lot of plorts, I was able to finally hit that 1800 moony mark. So we can go and look at the three choices we have. So we have the gully, this expansion to the conservatory surrounded by tall rock formations and covered in amber grass. So we have the gully, that is choice one. Our second choice, which I've already forgotten, sort of. The archway, archway, however you want to say it. An expansion to the conservatory set amongst ancient ruins and fields of rainbow grass. That seems like the best option to me so far, because rainbow grass and ancient ruins sound fucking awesome. The Den. This dark, damp, mushroom-covered expansion to the conservatory is a refuge, refu refuge from the sun for slimes and ranchers alike. So that could be really good for the ringtails and the phosphor slimes. I think I'll go to this one instead. All right, so let's check this out. So we have the archway. Bye. Okay. Sounds pretty happy. Make our way down here. Running around. And it looks like it might just be... Oh, so these are all plots. Why did I not put that together first? So we have five plots here as well as just some areas to explore. So we can have corrals here. It looks like we could have farms here. We have a pogo fruit tree there. Huh. Interesting. Is there anything here now? Or maybe there will be? Because this looks like a portal way. I'm kind of excited. This game always has something new to show us. So it looks like this right here is just like an area that we can have more farms. We could probably stick some slimes back here. Uh, I was actually getting a little nervous about spots. I don't know why I didn't put together these black marks or plots for corrals or stuff like that. So thankfully, I know that we can have more. I was getting a little worried that I was trying to focus too much on just the farms for food and not really wondering, hey, where am I going to put all of my slimes? So that fixes that problem. Oh, <laughs> I also fed some of the booms fossil report, so that way they now eat meat and fruit. And if I hit this button here, it'll produce both boom and fossil reports. I hope. Give him some fruit. Give him more, Josh. Old reference. But I think after I'm done picking these carrots like the amazing farmer I am, that is a lot of roostros. So I think now that we've gotten everything done on the farm that we really need to do for now, I'll just get rid of these boom ports. I think that would be a fantastic place to end off this video. So thank you for watching, everybody. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed. Hit the bell notification to be notified when more videos like this get released to the channel. I'd appreciate it. The channel would appreciate it. 
we both appreciate you greatly. And I also hope that you enjoy the rest of your day, night, afternoon, or evening post watching this video. And I will see you all in the next one. Oh, hey.